Chapter 2 Creating Entities The drawing toolbar in AutoCAD allows you to create most of the basic entities like point, line, arc, circle and so on. Let us see how these basic entities can be created in AutoCAD version 11. First let us learn how to create the most basic entity in any drawing, the line. In the toolbar select the line option and select the points where you want the line to start and end. A line will be displayed on the drawing area. Using the line option you can draw various shapes like rectangle, square, polygon and so on. Next let us draw an arc. Select the arc option from the toolbar. Since the arc requires you to define three points to create an arc, select the start point the second point and the end point and the arc will be created. AutoCAD provides you with different options to create a circle. From the toolbar select the circle option. From the command prompt select the type of circle you want to create. A center point option will allow you to create a circle by selecting the center point and any point on the circumference of the circle. For the next entity let us draw an ellipse. Select the ellipse option from the toolbar and select points. AutoCAD requires you to select three points to create an ellipse, the end points of one axis and one point on the other axis. Earlier we have seen how to create a rectangle using the line option. AutoCAD also allows you to create a rectangle directly. All you have to do is select the rectangle option from the toolbar and select the end points of the diagonal of the rectangle. We have seen that when we use the line option to create an object, each line is treated as a different entity. AutoCAD allows you to create a continuous figure by using the P-Line option. After selecting the P-Line option just keep selecting the end points of the lines, and AutoCAD creates a continuous figure. Be a line drawn in AutoCAD can be combination of line and arc.